about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones represent Pump Chasers. And we got my brother here. Talk to him, Angel. Got an Angel here at Alpha Aesthetics Gym. Well, we just killed a workout and we're gonna spit some facts to them and we're gonna give some pro tips. Let's dive into it, Chris. Alright, so we know summer's getting close. Practice summer's really here. It's already here. And y'all know it comes the same time every year. But there are some people who start now. But it's not too late. It's not too it's late. You, you're tip, pushing it. You're pushing it, but it's not it's too late. late. <laughs> it's never too late to stop. We can get, right? get you 4th of July. We can get you 4th of July. Hook it off the grill, shirtless, we got you. <laughs> so we want to give you some tips for people who are starting a cut. So many people start a diet and they finish. Some don't finish, right? Dieting is like a journey. I live about four hours from Houston, right? That's a four hour journey. Now let's say hypothetically speaking, right? There's some speed traps, right? There's a nice restaurant that got macro friendly meals on the way, right? There's so many stops, right? I tell Angel, hey, if you're driving to Houston, keep these things in mind. Now, regardless if I tell him these things, he's still gonna get to Houston, right? But knowing these little details made his ride a little smoother and he kept some things in mind along the way. So, crack. dieting is much longer than a four hour drive, but it's still a journey, and we're gonna give you some tips, just like that drive in Houston, some tips for your journey to make this ride a little smoother for you. All right? But don't get it fucked up. If you wanna get lean, you're gonna finish. Period. If there's a How will, bad do you want? If there's a will, there's a way. Okay? These are some tips to help you out, though. Uh, tip one, you want to go first or me? I'll go first. So well, tip give, number one. We're going to give you one tip each. Tip number one. All right. You're either going to plan to succeed or you're going to plan to fail. Yes. Now, it's easier said than done, right? So what does that even mean, right? So you got to, that means with doing, you know, some essential things like number one, going out, you know, getting your groceries done. Number two, meal prepping, right? And, and number three, having these meals ready to where they're, they're either in, in a Tupperware and your refrigerator, you take them with you to work, you're microwaving them. That way, it's a lot easier to go on about and stay on track with your, your, with your diet that you're trying to do to, to hit those macronutrients and micronutrients, right? Make sure we don't go overboard. Because when you try to just kind of free flow it and go with the flow, it's gonna be a lot easier to screw up, yeah. right? If I got my meal, put it like this, right? If I'm at the gym, you know, training people, or if I'm out on, on my construction job site, right? And I don't have, you know, my meal prep ready to go with me, right? Let that be whatever my meal may be. And the only thing available to me to eat is McDonald's. I gotta eat too, right? So at the end of the day, I'm like, well, damn, I either eat McDonald's or don't eat at all. And really, whose fault was it, right? Is it that I'm in the middle of nowhere and I can blame it on that, or is it my fault for not planning yeah. to succeed? Right, so no matter where you go, you always want to make sure that you got those meal preps with you. We're planning to succeed, we're planning ahead, we're thinking about, you know, the day of tomorrow, that that I don't get caught with my drawers down at the bottom. Yeah, I heard that. So, so overall, pretty much what he's saying is, make sure you schedule your weeks. So many people think that's corny. If you want a successful week, Regardless if you decide to write it down or plan it in your head, you should have an idea of what you're doing tomorrow. Some kind of, even if it's faded, if it's not solid, some kind of structure of what your day is going to look like. Some idea of when you're waking up. What are you going to do within those first few hours? What are you doing later? What are you eating? When are you eating? Where are you going to be eating at? These things should be in your mind if you want some kind of success for your week. So I love that tip, man. That's, gonna, that's too much game right there, fam. That's pay-per-view type of shit. But uh, what I wanted to say, fam, is everything's energy. I'll spare you all the hippie shit, but everything is energy. So dieting is no different. Let's start thinking of how much energy I'm gonna have to give for this shit. So for an example, let's say you got 10 weeks of dieting. Now, if you know you've been eating like shit for 10 weeks, you've been eating <laughs> a drive through been right? Bad, man. Just kind of going with the been flow, good. right? Well, eating from home is a different kind of energy, right? Unless you're going to be paying for meal prep companies 
or going out to eat every meal, right? I'm assuming a good chunk of your meals you're gonna be eating from home, right? Even though I eat out quite a bit, a good chunk of my meals are prepared at home. It not only saves you money, but it saves you time. Going to a restaurant, waiting to be seated, waiting for you to bring your food out, takes time and money, right? So sometimes it makes more sense for me to cook my own shit. So understand your food budget might be different, right? Going to the uh, store, buying your uh, chicken breast, buying your steaks, it's different than paying for a five dollar burger, right? Buying your food for the week, your veggies for the week. So make sure you got a little budget aside for that. And a big tip, I think, all of us should follow, especially if you're a grown ass man or a grown ass woman and you live alone, you pay your own bills. A good tip to do before you start cutting is to save some money. That when I used to work security, I used to have a security job, right? Top flight security, like, like Friday after the next, right? Um, I had no idea about Chris and uh, I had no idea. And I'll make sure I have a little budget money set. It's kind of like when boxers go to camp. I look at cutting down like going to camp because I'm in a I'm in a whole different mindset. I'm not on happy hours on Tuesday, getting the two for twenties. You know, I'm not hanging out on a Thursday, bullshitting around. I'm in the gym a little more. I'm doing two a days, right? I'm doing my cardio in the morning, weights at night. So my schedule is different, right? So I make sure I let my homies know, hey, y'all know cutting's coming soon for me. I gotta get whole ready for the summer. You might not see me on Tuesdays or Thursdays. But hey, you wanna join me in the gym? You're free to do so. I'll catch you on a cheat day, right? So knowing I'm budgeting my days of the week because time is energy, time is money, right? Money. I'm scheduling my week a little different. I'm making sure my budget for my groceries are a little different. I know cravings are coming. We know mind is energy. When your cravings are kicking in, you're gonna be miserable on the inside, thinking about foods you know you shouldn't be eating, right? I know cravings are coming, so I know my meditation. I know I'm going to be meditating, working through that, because after I stay low-key about three weeks straight, them cravings kind of fade. I'm not saying they go away completely, but, they'll... but they get quieter, right? The, the, the alarm isn't as loud, the alarm isn't as intense. There's been cravings, you can feel it in your fucking toes. Your mouth is so, so saliva is and building mind, up. It just takes one time to say yes to give in to that craving. And everything I went down the drain. Uh, like, it's easy. The, that very first yes, I'm gonna give in is gonna destroy everything. Start patterns create. Bad patterns and once create. you start doing those habits and patterns that no longer go with your goal, the reflection you see in the mirror is not gonna be a whole ready motherfucker. <laughs> Hell, I'm, not ready. I'm not ready. Chris. <laughs> I'm not ready, Chris. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So the tip I'm pretty much saying is, Angel said schedule your week, and I'm saying budget your energy. Understand. The discipline budget is not the same budget as the kind of go with the flow budget. Understand what you're doing, understand what comes with it. That's all I'm saying. Just make sure you're ready. Man, that's some damn good tip. Chris. That's it, is, man. That's, that's too pay per view, but I haven't that's, seen. That's, that's pay per view, so, man. Y'all enjoyed these tips? Y'all want to see more? Make sure you comment below, let us know. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram. Let us know if you enjoyed the video. Let us know if it helped you out, all right? Let us know where they can find you again, brother. Angel Diaz 2.0 on Instagram, on there you find everything, but in case you need my address, 4458 Spring Valley Road, Farmers Branch, Texas. Check us out for dance, check us out for, for gym, check us out for weight loss, check us out for personal whatever. Personal training, personal right? Personal training, personal, personal, personal training. training. Got a great team of trainers. Our dancer is actually dancing for the Dallas Mavericks. Okay. Yeah, man, we got some fire in here. So ladies, if you're interested in a dance class, come on in, check us out. We got something for everybody. All right. And don't forget, guys, go to tigerfitness.com. Get the subs. Beastmode316.com for merch and programs. And as always, thank you so much for your long time support. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, holler back at your boy.
moment of silence before we fuck up these weights.